Hi, I am Dr. Anamika Joshi. I am an eye surgeon and I am super specialized in the branch of oculoplasty that is eye plastic surgery. So today we'll be talking about artificial eye placement. First thing that we need to understand is that this surgery is not done to regain the vision. This surgery is done only for cosmesis. That means if a eye is already blind, has completely lost its vision but is also cosmetically unappealing and the patient is not happy about the looks of the eye also then we can do this surgery and at least restore the cosmesis if not the vision once all the surgeries like corneal transplantations retinal all those things are over and the vision is completely lost that is when this surgery comes into picture this is not at all done to regain the vision that has to be clearly understood so now let us go to the process of how the surgery is done what we first do is the eye that has become blind if it is very whitish it has become smaller in size based on all these parameters we decide a surgery most commonly we do a surgery known as evisceration with implant that is we leave the outer shell of that blind eye we remove all the intraocular that means eye contents and we instead place one ball implant into the outer layer of the eye so that is stitched and we form a base that means that implant creates a good volume in your eye socket so that later when we want to put the cosmesis like the cosmetic eye it can support it so first this ball implant is placed by the surgery known as evisceration with implant and after that once the eye is completely healed that means all the swelling after the surgery is gone after one month of that we make an customized prosthetic eye with the help of matching it with the other eye we make that and then we place it into your eye socket so this process involves color matching shape matching everything with your opposite eye and then a customized prosthetic eye which is easy to remove and easy to put that is made in the second stage so the first stage that is the surgical stage involve placing of the ball implant that ball is just a pmma or a silicon ball which is completely inert it doesn't cause any reaction and it is not even seen from outside once that base is formed the second stage is to put the prosthetic eye after color matching it and shape matching it with the other eye so once this process is done usually we achieve 80 to 95% of symmetry between the two eyes when you look at them so that means both the eyes will look similar however one eye will be blind and it's an artificial eye but it will look very similar to your other eye the second thing a very commonly asked question is that whether that eye will move normally or not so the answer is that that artificial eye will have approximately 60 to 70% movement compared to that of your normal eye so when you look up down and other gazes this eye may not move completely but it will have 60 to 70% movement in most of the cases now there are some very complex patients in which only doing this evisceration with implant surgery may not be sufficient and we might have to do additional procedures to create more space for the artificial eye to fit in so that your oculoplasty surgeon only after examining you can tell you that whether only the simple evisceration implant surgery will work for you or do we have to do extra grafts or extra implants so this entire process of the first surgery and the cosmetic uh, the customized prosthetic eye takes around 4 to 6 weeks the first surgery is done usually under local anesthesia and uh, it is a 30 to 45 minutes surgery after the surgery we usually discharge the patients also on the same day initially 2 3 days there could be some pain after the surgery which is very easily controlled by Uh, all the painkillers that we prescribe after one week the swelling starts to reduce and by fourth week the complete swelling goes down that is when we see the second stage and we make the customized prosthetic eye for the patient the customized prosthetic eye is made by an ocularist and the surgery is done by an oculoplasty surgeon 
This is a team effort and after this complete process, patients are usually gratified with the results of better cosmesis and uh, a better appealing appearance. So if you are planning this surgery, first you need to visit your oculoplasty specialist and understand that is this what is right for you? Because there are some other options like corneal tattooing where instead of removing the entire eye, if the eye has become slightly whitish in color, the cornea of the eye has slightly become whitish, it can be tattooed black. So corneal tattooing is another option for such patients. Another option is to put a corneal contact lens. But uh, this may not be suitable in all cases because sometimes the eye surface is very regular and it doesn't hold the contact lens. So corneal tattooing, corneal contact lenses are another options to improve cosmesis in patients. So between all these three options of artificial eye and the corneal tattooing and corneal contact lens, what is suitable for you can be answered only after we examine you personally. So if you're looking for better cosmesis, you must visit an oculoplasty surgeon, understand these options and then you can plan this surgery. This surgery is very safe. It doesn't cause any risk to the other eye or to any body parts and it usually gives very good outcomes.